Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carl here, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my tips and tricks for developing self-discipline and ultimately achieving great success. So I'm not the best person, you know, to be giving this advice. I myself have read just tons and tons of books on self-discipline, and from what I've read, there is lots of different ways, but just know that self-discipline is a skill that anybody can learn. And as we drive along uh, this journey, I'm actually heading to, to Amazon. I'm going to start doing some more of these um, fulfillment by Amazon business model type stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll get driving and I'm going to teach you about how to stay self-disciplined. All right, so one of the things you need to know is that, again, self-discipline is a skill. And one of the books that really helped me out on my journey is there's a book by Brian Tracy. And Brian Tracy, what he says in The Miracle of Self-Discipline is that when you practice it, when you avoid these current temptations, right, and you, and you, and you avoid them and you put yourself in good environments, it's painful, like it sucks. Nobody wants to ever be self-disciplined. We hate it, I hate it. On a Friday night, the last thing I want to do is avoid something that I truly want to indulge in. And the hardest part is just saying no. So again, what I found is that the more that I can control my impulses, the more that I'm gonna be able to change my environment. And that's ultimately the secret. You know, I was just thinking about today, like, what, what am I going to do? Who, who should I go talk to and stuff like that? But self-discipline has taught me so much. I mean, if I think about it over the course of my life, all the mistakes that I've made and all the damage that I've done, I'm in a position now where I can confidently say that even though I went ahead and I had some bad behaviors, Ultimately, it was self-discipline that got me through a lot of the struggles that I've been dealing with. So what I'm here to say is that I wanted to do the things <clears throat> that they wanted me to do. I did them anyway because I knew that I needed to get the honorable discharge, <coughs> and I did. And I got the honorable discharge, and then now that I'm about to graduate college, I think about the same thing. It's I stuck with college, and it was hard. I had to discipline myself to stay focused on the classes, but the most important thing is that I'm here where I am now. You know, I drive a decent car. I have a decent amount of money, and what gave me all that discipline, I honestly, I don't know, but it had a lot to do with not being happy with my current situation. A lot of times it was lonely. Um, friends, they came and they come and go, but for the most part, I managed to stick with it, and I just kept working on businesses that I wanted to take off and make more money, and ultimately, I'm here where I am now, and I'm comfortable, I'm happy, again, I'm about to graduate, and I'm super excited about where things are going, the, the road is endless, the options are endless, and will I continue to be disciplined? You betcha. There's nothing that's going to stop me from enjoying my life and again it's like a, it's like a hard pill to swallow but once you understand it like many other things in life self-discipline is one of those things where like for example we're driving right now and there's all these advertising advertisements that are going on right I could easily go and I could go to Home Depot I could go to Subway I could go to all these different places and I can go indulge myself and I could get <clears throat> I could eat I can do whatever but when you are solely <clears throat> when you're solely focused on things that are going to bring you more value going to bring you more money when you like your logical brain is telling you yeah that's not a good idea but your emotions are what tell you like oh I'm feeling hungry or I'm feeling um I'm feeling like sexual or something like that like these especially sex sex is one of those things where it is so impulsive people act on their sexual desires and frustrations more than anything else in the world. I think a lot of research can prove that and it's ultimately very important that you control yourself. 
because there's a lot of births that are not planned like people are going to have sex and they're going to have a kid and it, sometimes it wasn't planned but I don't want to I know there's a lot of us that, that, that happen to us not to say that you can't start over or you can't start today or anything like that because you can it's really important to know that every day is a new day and that self-discipline although we fail and I fail all the time I give in to impulsive behaviors but as long as you're constantly focusing on the goals that you have as long as you're focusing on the things you want to achieve <coughs> whether it's more money for your bank account whether it's better relationships anything like that it's really 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 important that you're concentrating on the outcome of achieving that certain level of measurable success instead of acting irrationally and going for things that aren't going to bring you value in the long term that's like the big thing is long term versus short term thinking and for me I've always been a long term thinker and it's benefited me so much Long-term thinking is one of those skills that you just have to, you know, you have to think about. Um, where else could I be right now? I could be hanging out with some people, I don't know, like smoking weed. I could be doing drugs. Like, I'm just speaking from experience, some of the things that I've done in the past. And there, there were decisions that we make that aren't going to propel us into the future. So for me, it was definitely important for me to think as far ahead as possible and yeah there's people in other countries that live in the moment like that's their culture they live in the moment and in america we don't necessarily um live in the moment as much we're more planners naturally um just for whatever reason we live in a delayed gratification world where in america it's more or less okay i'm gonna i'm going to go to school and i'm going to work on my degree and then I'm going to get a degree after four years or I'm working at a job and I'm going to get paid in two weeks like ever since we kind of sort of left the agricultural revolution now we're in a situation where we're all about things happening for us in the future it's a delay gratification so it's really important and I got a lot of people here on the live uh on this live broadcast so that's really cool and feel free to answer any questions don't be shy I'm not shy this was all new to me but um, Facebook Live was a way for me to get, you know, the messages out there. And so I'm kind of a loner, all right? I hang out. Hey, what's up, Mark? I see you. All right. Um, so I'm actually kind of a loner. And does it suck? Yes, sometimes it does. But it's like one of those trade-offs, you know, where, again, I could be out partying and that would be great and stuff like that. But what's going to happen tomorrow morning? I'm probably going to be broke because I spent a lot on alcohol. I'm going to be spending a lot of my time. Is it really bringing me value? And don't get me wrong. You should always reward yourself. Rewarding yourself is absolutely important. And how do I reward myself after hard self-disciplined behavior? Honestly, I just chill. Sometimes I'll go to a lounge. I'll kick it. and <clears throat> Or maybe, you know, it's just it, finding a reward system for you is like the biggest thing is is what, uh, you know, like, oh, I deserved it, or I worked a full eight hours, I did hard, and, 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 I, and, I, and I put all that time in. Well, a reward for me, and it may not be the same for you, but I actually love money. Money to me is so much, and I'm a humble person, but I, I look at money as a measurable result, where I can measure, okay, I worked hard, I shipped a lot of packages today through Amazon, or whatever, so the reward then is I'm going to see money coming into my bank account or I put all this time looking up a stock in the stock market and I end up getting this portfolio that's just so massive. So self-discipline self discipline is what I, what I had for the, long time, for the longest time and it, it really helped me out a lot. I want to say that the reason a lot of people sell things irrationally, like say for example there's fear that a company is going to go bust. A lot of times, stocks don't always go bankrupt. Very seldom do a lot of companies go bankrupt. And what it, what it's done for me is I've been able to hold on to my assets. I've been able to hold on to my portfolios. I never sell because I'm not emotionally driven. I'm, in the, I'm more consistent 
with my investing. Therefore, I know that if I more if I invest more money on a regular, consistent basis, whether it's five dollars, ten dollars, I know I'm going to get ahead no matter what because it's that practice. And discipline comes in so many shapes and sizes. Like there, there's, I mean, you can be disciplined in 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 planning every day. You can be disciplined in in scheduling your day for the next day like you could be scheduled you could be disciplined and coming out with a song every month or every day or every week or whatever whatever it is that you're disciplined about it could be saying no to drugs and alcohol it could be saying no to just about anything really it's a lot actually to do with saying no saying no is really one of those important things that you should focus on I try to say no as much as possible to things that aren't going to bring me happiness. And what I want to lean on the most is for you to understand is that discipline is one of those things that bring you that long-term happiness. When we act emotionally and impulsively on things that are going <clears> to <throat> bring us instant gratification, yes, they bring us instant gratification, but for for the for the time being like hooking up with somebody right now is going to bring us instant gratification right but the thing is tomorrow it's the same thing it's going to be just a different girl or a different guy whoever you're hooking up with it's just different and so when you are concentrating on day to day things where it's just bringing you instant gratification for that moment like a stopping through a drive through or just eating something that is not healthy for you, that irrational, I'm hungry, instead of being disciplined and waiting and preparing your own meals and cooking, that right there, the act of being conscientious about what you're putting in your body, what you're feeding yourself, and we can even go as far as exercise, we can, hey, Curtis, I see you, awesome, I'm glad more people are getting on, so when you're conscientious about getting uh, discipline in your behavior, great things happen. I can't exp- I can't stress that enough. My life has transformed when I learned to stop thinking about the moment, stop thinking about this instant gratification stuff. Great example, when I was younger, I used to make a lot of songs, musical songs, and I still do make a lot of songs, but when I was releasing these songs, I wasn't paying attention to how the lyrics were. I was freestyling and I wasn't planning and I wasn't... I just wanted to put a song out there and I wanted people to hear it. And, I, and, and as soon as I started doing that, I wasn't getting really any kind of results. There was no quality. And the quality is what you want. You want to strive for quality. And these people that are putting out great songs on the internet and the radio, they, <clears throat> they, they took a lot of time making the song. I learned it from my cousin Austin. Take the time, make a great song, or take the time, make a great painting. Take the time and, uh, you know, build a project. Take the time to nourish things and, and develop things, and the quality is there. That's discipline at its finest, and what, <clears throat> once you get discipline in your behaviors, great things happen. They transform, and it's not easy. This stuff sucks. I hate it. I absolutely hate being disciplined, but when you know how to play the game, you're going to win. Just like stock market investing, I know how the game works. Now that I know about how to get return on investment, it's a game. It doesn't need to be any more complicated, but discipline behaviors are what's going to get you to the top. And it's been working for me, and I'm going to continue to do it, and you can too. It's not it's not rocket science. It's just hard, and nobody wants to do it. That's why a lot of people fail. You don't need to. Oh, uh, <laughs> I miss you too, Curtis. Yeah, I'll drive safe. I, if anybody, I drive slow. I'm like the slowest driver. I'm probably going like I don't know, 30 miles an hour in a 45. I check <clears throat> probably get pulled over for, it, but yeah, I'm pretty safe. And you'd be safe too over there in Ohio. So. Yeah, I mean, I hate being I hate being self-disciplined, but I know how to play that game. If if everybody else is willing to indulge themselves in impulsive behaviors, that's what's going to set them back every single time and we don't realize it, but that's what's happening. And the more you can be de- self-disciplined in your behavior, the more that you're going to see these results. It just sucks. I mean, there's times when I get home from work and I'm sitting there <coughs> And I'm in my bed, I'm laying in my bed, I'm thinking, 
to myself, man, what could I do? And it might be something stupid. I might make some wrong decision. Like it could be looking at porn or it could be looking at things that aren't going to bring me success the next day. And then after, you know, you feel guilty, you feel like you, your rational brain is telling you, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this, but we do it anyway. And that leads to other compounding effects, you know, like habitual things where you start indulging in, in, in activities where it, it, it isn't the logical side of the brain. And this is all logical. Um, we do things because we're emotional. Humans are emotional people. Hey, Kingsley, I see you too. Um, and we do things because we're humans are emotional. We are emotional creatures. And it's just, it's a shame because I, I don't think they teach this enough in, in, in schools. Definitely they didn't teach it in high school and they certainly don't teach it in college about how to handle your emotions and how to be disciplined. I mean, can you think of a class where they taught you how to be self-disciplined? No, and that's the answer. Like, that is the answer. That's how, what's going to get you out of poverty. And I'll say it again. That is what's self-discipline is what's going to get you out of poverty. When you can imagine it, you know your brain wants to invest. You know you need to save $100 every month to get out of the situation that you're in. But your emotional side of the brain is telling you that you, you know, oh, it's okay. I'm just going to go and I'm going to go mess around for tonight. I'm going to go get drunk. And I don't blame you. I do the same thing. And now that I'm a little bit older, and I think as I get wiser and older, things will start being <coughs> things will start coming more into play. Like I'll realize, okay, I need to say no. I don't need to be drinking tonight. And um, I want to touch on one more thing that I think is pretty relevant to this video. And it's and it's again in the beginning I addressed this book by Brian Tracy. It's called The Miracle of Self Discipline. And he talks about it, and he, he Brian Tracy is great. He talks about just disciplining yourself, and he goes off and on. I can't remember the whole deal, but what I did follow in one of his other videos by Brian Tracy was how to set goals. Tell me the last time your institution, college, whatever, had you like set goals. They don't teach it. They don't teach you how to set goals in college. But imagine... Imagine if you will, all right, if you set goals every single day for 30 days straight, I mean, already you're like, I don't want to do this, Carl, I don't want to do anything for 30 days, and you don't have to. I'm not saying that's going to be the make or break, but what I am going to tell you is, A, they don't teach it in schools, so that might be your first indicator that this might be a good idea, simply because your logical brain is telling you that setting goals might be the answer, so therefore you should probably do it. And what setting goals every day, like handwriting your goals, right, every single day, what it, what it does is it puts things into perspective. Now you have something to strive for, you have something to go after, and it's just amazing. What it's done for me is I did it for 30 days, I wrote my goals, 10 of them, and every day they change, but I did it for 30 days, and it just changed the way I thought about my life. Every day I was taking more action. And every day I was making something of myself. That's what goals did to me. So these little tools, these tips and tricks have a lot to do with self-discipline. You know, and I don't do this stuff every day, but I do know that it's always going to be in the back of my mind. And then I know it's the secret to success. Whatever you do, even if money isn't your thing. Um, hey, Aaron Crum, I see you too. Glad to have you. And... The more, the, the more that I do these things, you know, I, on an on and off basis, it's still in the back of my brain. I'm always thinking about being successful and what is it that I need to do. And it comes down to the simple nitty gritty. You got to grind. You got to be tough. Like, um, you know, it's okay to take breaks, but like for the most part, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to do things on a somewhat of a regular basis where you're setting goals every now and then working out every now and then I mean we all slip I don't work out every single day but I know that it's good for me and I know that's what I need to do so your rational brain again is telling you that that's what you need to do hey Travis I see you thanks for joining us um, heck yeah Curtis I love the inspiration yep one person at a time so yeah again it comes down to you and I want to help you out you know 
This isn't one of those sales pitchy videos. I understand. I'm a marketing major at a time. I get that. And it, it has nothing to do with money for me. In the long run, yeah, I might build a following and you guys might subscribe to whatever. But for the most part, this helps me out. This gets more people on board. And ultimately, what I really want is people to be more self-disciplined. It's not easy. I don't expect a whole lot. But for the most part, self-discipline is definitely what what got me where I'm at. And it, again, it's been on and off. Um, the military, Travis, you'll know that it, it, it teaches you to do things that you don't necessarily want to do, but when you stick through, th stick through things and you persevere, you'll find that there's rewards. Just like when you graduate uh, and you get your honorable discharge in the military or when you graduate college, there's that reward. That's why self-discipline is the answer. So more, more or less, uh, when you wake up in the morning, you definitely want to kind of plan your days. You want to figure out how can I be more self-disciplined for the day. And that's, what, and, and that's what's worked for me. So we'll see if I got some tools and some tricks for you. Um, I have lots of different templates that I use that help me get kind of refocus and stuff like that. And it has a lot to do with... There's an urgent and important matrix that I use, and I, I downloaded that, and it's on my... It's, well, it's going to be on my website. But it's there, it's there so that you can kind of take what's on your mind and, and, and putting it down on paper. The, big, the best thing you can do when you're having a lot of busy thoughts going on in your head is write things down on paper. When I write things down on paper, it, the fact that the hand is connected with the paper puts things into perspective a lot more for me and I'm able to then evaluate that what's written on the paper later. I'm able to take that and I'm able to organize it because our brain, it can't handle our brains, <coughs> it can't handle a whole lot of things going on at one time. You need to put things down on paper. And um, what does that have to do with self-discipline? Well, just one more tool is you know that you need to put things on paper. So that's kind of, that's kind of my spiel about that. Um, when, I, when I drive around and I look around here in Vegas, I see, I see a lot of people who are just kind of walking around aimlessly, um, not any kind of purpose-driven people, um, not everybody, but there are quite a few that I see here. You know, there's homeless people. For whatever reason, they're homeless. I have no idea, but I'm not here to, to under, act like I know I understand what's going on in their lives. But what I can tell you is that it might have something to do with the way they were raised and how they think and their ability or willingness to learn about new things in life and when we don't see when we stop seeking instant gratification we start looking then outward and, and forward driven where we start planning things and um, great great things happen and so as far as like the homeless population goes I want to go ahead and take a stab at it hey Aaron good to see you um I want to take a stab at it, and I want to say that the reason a lot of people, I think, are homeless is because of the sense of purpose and a lot to do with drug addictions. That is huge. Like, there's so many people, there's a lot of homeless people that don't have much, and they then turn to drugs and alcohol, and I do the same thing. I would. If, if, I, if I didn't have much going for me in in the sense that I didn't have money or any kind of resources I would do the same thing too I would drink and take drugs and stuff like that if you can't see me my bad um, just hear the audio but I, I think that the the reason why like, they're, they're homeless a lot of times is because they are the way that their psychology is the way that their mindset is is not where it needs to be and, it is, and, it, and it's actually not their fault it has a lot to do with, I think, education, the willingness to learn, and simple desire. You know, desire is a lot of things. And for me, along my journey, what's helped me is following other people who have been there. And that is, in a sense, not necessarily reinventing the wheel, but kind of looking to somebody for guidance. And when I, when I seek people um, who are better off than me, uh, I get envious I do. I, I envy people who are better than me at what they do, and that's okay. It's a hard pill to swallow, but what I do is I learn from those who are successful. 
And those of you who are just joining us, again, this this topic is about self-discipline and how it has a lot to do with everything. Self-discipline is the key to riches. In the books that I've read, and I've read quite a few, they, they all say the same thing. You know, when you look under the iceberg, you know, when you see an iceberg, you see the top of it, but what's underneath the iceberg is what's really going on. How do people get successful? You know, and a lot of it has to do, actually, a huge part of it has to do with self-discipline. Being able to delay gratification because there's things that we don't see necessarily in the future, but we want them now. And we have to have them now. And we are always looking for instant things. And that's the problem. That's a huge problem. Because when you start focusing on things that are happening in the moment, then you start looking around and you're like, okay, how do I get the next cigarette? Right? How do I get that next puff? How do I have sex with the next person? Or how do I look at porn? Like it's instant gratification and it ruins the mind. It, 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 uh, was that word? Tam, taminate? contaminates the mind and it throws you off focus but when you can start delaying gratification and you can start thinking okay this is going to make me richer what do I have to do well I'm going to have to invest a few I'm going to have to invest consistently the um, the payoff is going to be substantial the interest is going to compound we all know this everybody knows about compound interest it's no brainer but nobody does it because they are seeking instant gratification they want to know what's in it for them right now and it's okay to know or want what's in it for you right now but you also got to be willing to be persistent being able to wait and wait and wait those who wait those who are patient hardworking, and wait are the ones who get the they get the fruit the fruit is 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 amazing and it just sucks again because i was never taught this how i was raised I, I don't think I had the greatest life, but what I'm learning is, you know, I have the willingness to learn. I love reading about other people who are successful and how they've gotten there, whether it was money or, or whatever their name to fame was. I just really, I can see people for what, they, for what they are, their character. I can see them for how they stand, you know, at attention, for example, and how I can observe them in their ways. And I really believe that if you see somebody who is self-disciplined, you can see it. You can see it in their behavior. You can see by the way they talk, the way that they think they're not, they're not instantly gratified. Who wants that? I don't want instant gratification because I know that the secret to life is self-discipline. And those who wait are going to get the most. Think about it. If you started a business and you were expecting it to happen overnight, it's not gonna happen overnight. The biggest of businesses took a long time to get where they're at. And that should be a great example for you to emulate, knowing that when you start something, you're gonna finish it, and you're gonna finish it in a length of time, and then that length of time, it's gonna pay off. That's what investing is, that's what self-discipline is, so that transposes or relates to a lot of different areas of interest and fields of study and business whatever it is just knowing that self-discipline is the answer and i really hope that you got some value out of this because i'm no perfect angel but i do know that there are times when i gotta buckle down you know i can't i can't just keep doing what i'm doing you know it's not working for me it's not the right way of going about the things that are not bringing me success you know and success in the eyes of everybody is completely different you know what's successful to me is may not be for you and I'm not here to judge whatever it is I personally like to measure things and money is an easy way for me to measure things <clears throat> so I can set goals and I can raise my income and I can get more money but for you it <clears throat> success might be just seeing a relative or calling a relative once a day for the rest of your life or increasing that to two relatives per day, making contact, whatever it is. So that's my spiel about self-discipline. And um, again, I hope you get some value from this. It's been a wild ride, and I think that in the future here, you're going to see me getting more and more self-discipline in my behaviors. You're going to start seeing me in different environments. I'm going to be talking to different people, not the same people I once grew up with. I'll still keep in touch with them. 
However, I will be doing different things because in order to become something different in your life, in order to attain something that is out of your reach, you got to do things that you've never done before. And when we continue to do things that we've always done before, it's not necessarily going to bring you the results that you need. When you want to scale your business, you have to do things that you've never done before. You got to learn things, for example. You got to learn new things and you got to grow. In essence in itself, self-discipline right there once again applies to this whole discussion. So, thank you everybody for who's who's joining me on this Facebook live um podcast i'm gonna or not podcast facebook live feed broadcast it's um it's it's gonna be good i'm gonna keep doing these things after i do this facebook live uh post i end up actually extracting the audio and i upload it to my podcast and once i upload it to my podcast it just goes everywhere i mean it goes to youtube it goes to soundcloud twitter again it goes to facebook youtube it just goes everywhere and even most importantly it goes to my website so Whatever you want to do, I encourage you, uh, stay ethical, stay humble, and just keep working hard because self-discipline has a lot to do with working hard as well. I hope that your future becomes bright, and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good rest of the night. Peace.